Hey guys, Chris Mufu here, welcome to it's a new video. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to continue an interrupted Chrome download. Okay, so sometimes when you're downloading stuff from Google Chrome, and especially if it's a large file, there may be issues that arise while when you're downloading it, like maybe the power went off or your internet got cut off or something. So the download cuts off halfway and you're left with an uh, uncompleted file, or incomplete file, sorry. So like in this case, especially with large files, you don't really want to go and re-download it all over again because that would be really really annoying. So like let's say I have this file over here that I tried to download from Dropbox and it's only 400 megabytes but the actual file size is 500 megabytes. So I try to open it, uh, Windows tells me that it's a crop file or embedded file. So I really don't want to go and re-download this whole thing again because it would be 500 MB and it may fail again. So um, there's actually a way to continue and interrupt the download. Now how you do that is first head over to Google Chrome. Alright, so open up Google Chrome, head over there, and go to your downloads. And in your downloads, find the file that you're planning to download, and right click, copy link address. Now go over to Firefox, you need to download Firefox with this, go over to Firefox, and paste in the address. Alright, and Firefox will start downloading, uh, will also download it, so click OK. Now when Firefox starts to download it, go over to it, and pause the download. Then open the containing folder. Now in the containing folder, as in where you are downloading to basically your downloads folder, you'll see that there's the file itself, and there's this is file called the name.part. So what you need to do is click on it, click all, uh, copy the whole name of the file, go over to your uncompleted download, and paste the name of the file there. Click yes. Now copy this .part file into your Firefox one. Copy and replace. As you can see, the size has now been replaced to uh, 400 meg, which is basically what the size was previously. Then go back to Firefox, the downloads, and click Resume. And as you can see, it starts immediately from 431 megabytes, and it'll just download from there. So in this manner, you save a lot of time because your download will just resume from where you previously stopped, and you don't have to start all over again. So it's a very efficient way of downloading. It's much faster if you have a unstable um, download uh, 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 unstable internet connection so I hope this video helped you thanks for watching and have a nice day